trust that um, we will be a blessing to you with it.
de acum preună să stăm în lampă. Amin, să stăm. Amin, să stăm. The news came to Jesus. Please come fast. Lazarus is sick, and without your help, he will not live. They waited for Jesus, he did not come, and they wonder why. The big stone must roll big. They've been waiting for days. Somebody said, he is the
can call upon your mighty name. We give you all the glory, the thanksgiving, and the praise. Because you deserve it, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for breaking those seals, Lord. Father, also breaking the seals at the back of the book, Father. So that we can know who you are this morning. Father, we love you. We appreciate you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for God. Now we praise your mighty name. Yes, Lord. Because there's only one like you, Lord. Yes, Lord. None other like you, Father. Amen. Because you have been faithful, Father. Yes, Lord. Bless. Bless this little servant this morning, God. May we be the edification of the body of Christ, Lord. Till we all come into that fullness of the stature of a perfect man. We love you, dear. Bless us further. Amen. Ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Before you sit, quickly take your Bibles and let's get straight into the word of the Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. I uh, want to greet the church in the lovely name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, certainly want to thank each and every one that Amen. could be in the house of the Lord this morning. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate our visiting friends you, that's with us thank you, Lord. that uh, bought out the time just Amen. to come assemble and fellowship with us for this sh a short time. Amen. We Amen. love you. We appreciate you. Yes. We thank God for you. Maybe Amen. we don't know God can do something for you. Amen. I'm looking for a special touch from the hand of God this morning. Yes. Because I come with expectation. Amen. And I believe that you also came with expectation. Yes. And the prophet messenger said that we only get what we expect. Yes. We expect a lot of God. Yes. Dish out a lot. Amen. We expect little from him. Yes. Yes. Dish out little. Yes. So open up your mugs this morning. Open up your jugs this morning. Amen. And let the grace of God flow. Oh, and you say, Lord, I receive, I receive, I receive, yes. I receive. Yes. I don't know what your need is this morning. Amen. I don't know what trouble you went through you this week. Amen. I don't know who rubbed you up on the wrong side. Amen. I don't know about your sicknesses this yes. morning. I know nothing. Yes. I only know as I see you this Amen. morning. So you know what you went through. Amen. 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 And therefore you come this morning to this sanctuary. For a special touch from Thank God, you, for a you. healing touch, for a deliverance you. touch, you, for a change of attitude Thank touch, you, for a change of life Thank touch. You, Amen. You. He's the only one that can do it. Don't look to Brother Chris. So I've got nothing for you. Yes. I'm just a mere vessel that he can use yes. for his honor and his glory. Yes. Yes. Amen. So don't take out your red pens this morning. To mark me, he said you've spoken the wrong year, and I'm going to give you an X there, and give you a uh, pass there, and a fail there. Amen. Let's all come under the canopy Amen. of the word of the living yes. God, because yes. we've all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. And the only thing that stands between me and you is a little gift, that's all. Amen. But God has given each and every one of us yes. a gift according to what he has measured in us before the foundation of the world. Are you happy? Yes. Amen. Amen. We thank God for all the singers that went forth. Amen. All of those that packed it, we thank you very much. Amen. Without the singing portion of a meeting, a meeting is always never completed. So we are so glad and thankful for the singers. We thank yes. you. Our precious brother Desmond, that's why we led the choruses this morning. Let's give a hand of praise for our precious brother Desmond. Amen. And uh, we thank the Lord for you. Because without you, no, there's, there will be no service. Then we have to greet the empty chairs. Yes. So uh, open up. Yes. Don't close up. Amen. Don't tighten up. If you want to say amen, you can say amen. amen. If you don't feel like saying amen, yes. you say amen anyhow. <laughs> Even if I don't say something like to your liking, you know, make as if you enjoy the service. <laughs> can you do that? Amen. amen. So let's just get rid of all the starchiness and the stuffness amen. and the coldness and let's just open up. Amen. And let's just assume Jesus is standing yeah, here. Yeah. And let's give him all our attention. Yeah. Whatever he's going to say, let's amen him. Amen. He was the, most, he was the mightiest preacher on the face of the earth. Yeah. That was the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. But he's not here in flesh, but here in spirit. Yeah. We believe that he will do this exceedingly abundantly 
if we allow him to do it. He can only operate as what we allow him to operate. He can only operate based on the basis of our faith. So if we pull and we draw and we draw and we draw, he will certainly do it. Remember the woman with the blood issue? She drew and he asked her, who touched me? He says, Lord, Peter said, Lord, so many yes. people have touched you. Yes. But as I found a special touch, amen. may you be the one this morning that amen. gives him the special touch, amen, amen. by pulling on his garment this amen. morning, the garment of the word. Let's read Genesis 1, 26 to 29, Genesis 2, 7, uh, twin, and then we read from 15 to 20. Genesis 1, 26. Okay, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let him have a dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image and the image of God created he, him, male and female created he, them. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful. And multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea Amen. and over the fowl of the air and over the every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree you know, in which there is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for me and to every beast of the earth and to every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life. I have given every green herb for Amen. meat and it was so and God saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good not only good but very good and the evening and the day and the morning were the sixth day quickly over to Genesis 2 7 and the Lord God formed man off the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul 15 and the Lord God took the man and Put him in the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest oh, eat freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone, and I will make him and help meat for him. Amen. And out of the ground the Lord God formed operative word formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam Amen. to see what he would call them and whatsoever Adam called every living creature yes. that was the name thereof and Adam made, gave names to all cattle yes. and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field Amen. but for Adam there was not Amen. found and help yes. meet for him. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. So for a subject matter this morning, uh, I was trying to continue with a different angle on what we spoke last time. We spoke on the very thoughts of Elohim. Amen. Amen. And we had a, quite a tremendous time in the Lord. Amen. And we just to recap a little bit, we spoke about the love of God and the fountain of spirit and how it flowed out of God way before the foundation of the world. Amen. Amen. And that we were part of the image and the plan of God. Amen. God Amen. didn't, uh, we didn't realize that we were part of God, but until expression, amen, amen we came to a realization that we are a part of God. Amen. amen. And we spoke a little bit about, about love. We spoke about brotherly kindness, which is the virtue of our amen. age. And we realized that virtue amen. has got blood on it. Amen. amen. And we need to forgive our brothers. Yes. We need to forgive our sisters. Yes. Amen. We need to cut down the barriers. Amen. amen. And we need to love for one another. Yeah. Amen. And amen. that's what this gospel is about. Jesus amen. didn't come for nothing else on this earth but to live the life that he was ordained to amen. live. And we as been part of the great spirit of God, we only got one objective and that's to live the life that's needed of us. We Amen. can sing a lot, we can talk a lot, we can preach a lot and we can act a lot. <laughs> but there's a life Amen. that needs to be manifested. Amen. And that's what he's coming back for. It's the life of Christ Amen. that's got to be manifested. So my angle this morning is that I want to speak a little bit about back to our image. Amen. And my inspiration is let us make man in our image. Amen. 
So if you can have the first quote there, Sister Abby, I'm just going to try to preach a little bit with quotes this morning. Amen. Uh, God help me. Amen. Amen. I've sat from half past 12 to 5 o'clock in my room, didn't move one bit. <laughs> Amen. My wife made some nice chicken mushroom soup, so I had a cup of that. But I didn't get out of the room until 5 o'clock in the evening. Mm. So pray for me. Amen. I sacrificed a lot of time yesterday. I could have been somewhere else. Yeah. So uh, you need to be a little bit, you know, enthusiastic. Yeah. Yeah. It shouldn't be a lot of dead spirits looking at me. Because you know what, what God has done for you. Amen. Amen. I think the most exciting time in any church service yeah. should be the preaching of the word. Amen. Amen. Song service is fine. We yeah. all rejoice and we're all happy. But when the word is being preached, that's the time that we should show God that we understand what he wants done with his word in this day and hour. Amen. So for the first quote, 1953, 29th of July, questions and answers on Genesis. The prophet said, God created man, male and female. Created man, male and female. Now, I think the first point in Genesis 2, 7, it says, he formed and he underscored it. Amen. But first, he created. Is 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 God that underscored and then in Genesis 2 7 he formed man Amen. out of the dust and breathed into his nostrils and so forth. Now, what is the difference or where is the connection in the above scriptures? Amen. But before I want to continue, I want to say this that God sent us a prophet. Yeah. God sent Paul. Amen. God sent Irenaeus. God sent Martha. Amen. God sent Luther. God said, Wesley, yes. God had a bunch of Pentecostals, but none of them could go before no. the beginning. No. They could only go as far as time. No. Yes. Amen. In the beginning, but God sent us Malachi 4, Amen. a Kentuckian prophet way back in 1909, Amen. raised him up. Amen. And God allowed him to see before the beginning. Amen. And what we are uh, preaching to you today Amen. is not intellect. But it's pure divine revelation Amen. that comes from the mind of God. Amen. And he could use a little humble Kentuckian prophet Amen. to reach behind, hallelujah, ordained or Amen. praise God to reach behind the book and pull out the contents, the revelation part of this Bible. Amen. This is all dead letter, friends. We can read it day in and day out. But unless the Spirit of God comes and makes this alive, it will remain dead letter. Amen. But we are so thankful towards God that He sent us a prophet Glory. to make this this death letter right. a living reality. Amen. Therefore, we can identify ourselves today Amen. with the Bible. Amen. Amen. When He broke those seven seals, then Amen. He said to Himself, "Now this Bible has become a new Bible." Amen. Because we can read ages and generations, we can read this Bible, yeah. Yeah. but have no understanding as to oh, what man. we read. Oh, but man. we thank God that He has revealed His secrets. Amen to his servants the prophets amen. now we have an open book amen, amen. we're serving God under an open book amen. no more a closed letter no. but the book is open ready to be identified with the coming of the Lord amen. are we together amen. can we say amen? amen are we together amen. can we say amen? amen can we say amen, amen. can we say amen? amen can we say amen amen, amen. amen. I'm not alone here amen we are all together amen. hallelujah yes. Let's go on. Second quote, A, 1A. It says, now, well, now, if you notice close in Genesis 1, 26, let's get the first part. He says, God said, let us. Yeah. Now, let us, us. Amen. It's plural. It's not singular. Yeah. Amen. It says, let us make man in our image. Yeah. Our, of course, we realize he's talking to someone. Yes. Yes. He was speaking to another being. He says, let us make man in our own image. After our likeness and let have let them have dominion over the cattle of the field. Last time I said, out of God, the great father of a spirit, when the logos part. Yeah. And that logos prayed before the Father. Yeah. And that logos formed the creation. Yeah. And that was before the beginning. Mm -hmm. Amen. Before the word became flesh. Okay. Amen. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word became flesh. But we are so glad and thankful that that word has taken on flesh this morning. Amen. Amen. Not only the flesh of Jesus Christ, but the flesh of every believer here this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, he could say, and he said, let us make man. Amen. You got your spiritual thinking caps on this morning. Amen. You are speaking to no one else but the Logos. Amen. Word. Hallelujah. Because the Logos formed the creation. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. 
That's the one that we want to zero in this morning. Let's go on, sister. Every quote one B. It says, if you notice in creation, the first thing that was created, of course, was light. Yeah. You call you come on down through the creation, Amen. and the last thing was created was yeah. what? Yeah. A man. Yeah. And the woman was made after man. Yeah. And the last thing that was created, of yeah. course, of God's creation is mankind. Yeah. You see how important you are? Yeah. As man. Brother Brett, yeah. Brother David preached last year sometime. He spoke a little bit, a few services about fellowship. And how important fellowship is. Mm -hmm. But God created, He was Elohim, yeah. the self existing one. Yeah. But He couldn't remain self existent yeah. anymore. Yeah. He had to have miniature amateur gods yeah. upon the face of the earth. Yeah. And that was all part of the intelligence of God. Therefore, He created Adam. Yeah. And Adam became a living soul yeah. and dwelt upon the earth. Now, Brother Bram says, God existed with his family. Yes. And at evening time, he came down in the cool of the evening. Yes. And he came down in the wood and spoke unto Adam and Eve. Yes. They had a communion. They had a fellowship. Yes. That was before the fall. Yes. There was tranquility. There was harmony. There was peace. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise be to God. But the devil and all his tricks came yes. and he marred God's kingdom. Yes. And that's why I want to speak a little bit later on. As us going back to that image that we had with him before the foundation of the world. Praise be to God. Let us go on quote one C. He said, but when God made his first man, you notice, he made him in the likeness of himself. He was made in the image of God. And what is God? Now we can find out what God is. We can find what kind of a man he made. So let's quickly turn over to the book of St. John 4 and we read one scripture there. We read John 4 24. Just bear with me today. I'm going to get excited later on. But let's just get the, 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 the scriptures in quickly. 4 24. Amen. Yes. There we go. Let us back up 21. Jesus said unto the woman, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Amen. Ye worship ye know not what. Amen. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Amen. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Amen. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit. Amen. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. God loves worship. Amen. God loves to see you excited about him. Amen. He likes to see you exalting his name. Amen. He likes to see you edifying his presence. Amen. Amen. God is a spirit, the Bible says. And they that worship him. Was worship him in spirit and in truth. Now we go back to our quotation when Brother Branham says, just back up one slide, my sister 1C. He says, in order to find out what God is, we need to read that scripture that God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So when God created man, God created him as spirit. Amen. And that's where what God is and who he is. He is a spirit. Amen. And we, when we were created in Adam, we were spirit beings. Amen. Amen. And when Adam worshipped God, he could not do nothing else but to worship what was in him as Adam. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's what we want to dwell on if we go to quote 1D. He said, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Now if God created man in his own image and in his own likeness, what kind of a man did he create? A spirit man. Now, if you notice, after he had made all the creation and created a spirit man, the close reading of this now to the one that asked the question will find this, that God give dominion of the cattle and the fishes and everything to the man. But in his making up there, he made man in his own image to lead the cattle, Amen. lead the beast of the field, just like the Holy Spirit leads the believer today. Amen. Oh, how beautiful that is. Did you get that? Amen. So God raised up Adam to lead the cattle in his spirit man form. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just as the Holy Spirit leads the true believer today. Praise be to God. Each and every one of you, 
us, we need a leader. Amen. And if we don't have a proper leader, we will be condemned by that leadership. Yeah. Amen. Amen. 1945, the whole of Germany was condemned by the kind of leadership that was exhibited. They followed the evil man called Adolf Hitler. And because of that, they got crucified and killed by the Russians yes. because of the type of leadership. But we've got one leadership, and that's the leadership of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says he will lead you into what? All truth. He's the perfect leader. And he placed in his body in the church yes. apostles, prophets, teachers, Amen. evangelists, pastors for what? Amen. For the edification of the body of Christ. Amen. Till we all come into what? The unity of the faith. Amen. Under the knowledge and the stature of the fullness of Christ. Amen. Amen. That's the purpose of the fivefold ministry. Amen. But Brother Branham said, the fivefold ministry is not only individual offices, yeah. but it's the Holy Spirit Amen. in those offices, Amen. operating those offices to the potentials that need to be operated. Amen. So King Brother David is the Holy Spirit to operate the office of a pastor. In whoever's in the benches today, if you feel like you're an evangelist, amen, part of a fivefold ministry, it will be the Holy Spirit. Amen. Operating in that office Amen. to bring it to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. That is the fivefold ministry. Amen. It's the Holy Ghost in the church. Amen. And that's the one that's leading the spirit man today. Amen. Listen, friends. Our flesh is enmity. 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 What enmity with God. In other words, it keeps on constantly fighting the spirit of God. Amen. And this morning you had a battle, wasn't it? Your spirit said, yes, get up and go to church. Yeah. But your flesh said, oh, I'm so tired. Yeah. I'm so weak. I feel so sick. I feel so weary. <laughs> but your spirit said, hey, get up, man. Yeah. It's time to worship our Father. Yeah. Hallelujah. You see, there will be a constant battle. Yeah. Because this flesh is hybrid. Yeah. Hallelujah. By the spirit inside of you, yeah. the soul yeah. is the original. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's the thing that pulsates, that moves you on. Yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are only led by one thing, and that's the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Our flesh cannot be led by the Holy oh, Ghost because right. we keep on fighting against the Holy Ghost. Yeah. When the Holy Ghost wants to brood over you, you push him away. Yeah. So not now, not now. He yeah. wants to go to you and say, come on now. I want to save your soul. You say, not now, not now. I've got my life to live still. Yeah. You see, the Holy Ghost don't come upon the flesh yeah. because your flesh will never be able to contain you. Yeah. Praise be to God, but it comes upon the soul. Yes. The spirit, hallelujah. Justification is all fine, it's well, it's good. It's taking like a dirty cup that laid in the mud and clean it with water, justify, clean it. And then you get a blood, the spirit that comes upon the soul or the spirit rather and cleanses it and cleans out and sets it aside for service. Amen. But the thing that will make you a moving instrumentality of God is when the fire baptism of God comes down upon the soul. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Praise be to God. That's the thing that moves and have to pulsate in the end time bright church. Is the Holy Ghost back in the church. We had word, 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 word for how many years? 58 years. Son Brother Branham left the earth. But now it's time for the Spirit to come down as dynamics upon the mechanics that were sold for so many years. But the David said he's been going on for 31 years. And he's been sowing 30 for 31 years. Word seeds into you. Yeah. Isn't it about time now for that word to turn into spirit? Yes. I say yes, it's time for the spirit of God to come upon the word. To make the word live again. Yeah. For this season and this time. Yeah. Amen. You know, we got millions and millions of message churches out there. And then you get this, the fundamentals, and you get the extremes. And the extremes only say it's word, word, tape, tape, word, word, tape, 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 tape but no spirit. Yes. And I get the other side of the coin. Yes. If I always want to spirit, 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 but no word. We live like devils, but we feel the spirit. We speak in tongues, we do this, we do the other thing, but there's no foundation of the word to balance, hallelujah. That's what Brother Brown said, Perry Green, keep your balance in the scriptures. Shouldn't be only word, 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 but no spirit. No spirit, 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 but no word. It should be word and spirit. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm so glad for this church.
church. There's a balance here. I can feel a balance here. Hallelujah. We love the Spirit of God. We love the Word of God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Let's talk about our church. Let's leave the other churches alone. Let's talk about this church. Where I can feel, I can see the balance of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. The Word of God and the Spirit of God coming together. What happened last week? The word came forth in power. Hallelujah. But well, it didn't do nothing else. It was the word pushing that brother forward. It was the word pushing the others forward to be careful. Hallelujah. And the spirit vindicates the word. It always does. So if I stand here and speak a lot of nonsense, there will be no vindication. But if I give my focus and only speak the word, then it must come a vindication. That's why I appreciate Brother David. It's constantly on the word. Stay with the word. It's the word that will make the difference. The word will drive out the demons. The word will heal you. The word will change you. The word will deliver you. The word will set you free. The word will change you. The word will give you power. Hallelujah. It's the word of God. We don't have, we had a 21st century prophet. But he was a word prophet. He lived between earth and heaven. He lived between the natural and supernatural. Hallelujah. But his basis was the word of God. He could do nothing else but what the word said. He was Jesus Christ on two feet. He, became, he was a living instrumentality of the word of God. Hallelujah. Church, may we become the word of God. Whatever will come out of our mouth will be the word of God. When we go visit one another, we don't speak about church members. We speak about the word of God. Hallelujah. The more we speak about him, the more he will draw near. What happened to those that walked on the way to Emmaus? It was all dreary and weary. Hallelujah. It was all downhearted because what happened a day or two ago in Jerusalem. And all of a sudden they spoke about the things of the Lord. And he drew near. Amen. Hallelujah. The more we speak about him, the more we fellowship about him, he will draw near. And that's what we need in this last days on our way to the rapture. It's for Jesus Christ to draw near. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Then maybe he will open our understanding to the scriptures. Hallelujah. Let's go on, my sister. 1E. E. I need to pace myself here. Yeah. He was, in other words, Adam, the first man in the lower creations of God. The first creation was God himself. Then out of God came the Logos, which was the Son of God. Then out of the Logos, which was the Word. Amen. Out of the Logos came forth the man. And we explained that last time. I'm not going to do that again. Let's go on, my sister. Now we realize, I'm preaching now, unquote, don't read there, I'm preaching now. Now we realize in order to understand the beginning, understand time, we have to go before the beginning. Is that right? Yeah. And we need to understand what happened before the beginning, but in our minds we cannot go before the beginning. We can only go as far as time, which is in the beginning. Yeah. That's as far we can go. Yeah. But God in mercy yes. sent us an ordained prophet yes. Yes. to go before time yes. to show us hallelujah that man was formed out of the Logos word. Oh. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So you realize who you are? Yes. yes, but you realize who you are, Sandy? Oh. You realize who you are, Kalia? Kirk, Kyle? Shara, do you realize who you are? Yes. Roger? Brother David, you all realize who you are? Yes. James, you realize who you are? Yes. You are formed out of Logos' word. Yes. Man, yes. that's deep, eh? Yes. Forget about this thing. Yes. Even how they straight over here, yes. man. This is the Genesis 2 7 man. I'm not dwelling on him today, I'm dwelling about on the Genesis 1 26 oh, man. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You are always part of God. Yes. Always part of Logos' yes. word. So you let them proud and scandal and the tear of the world, actually only. Hallelujah. You just gossiping about the flesh. The Genesis 3 7 man. But you have never seen me. You don't know me. Hallelujah. You don't know Brother Roy. She was the other. Yes, that's fine. 
trying to week in and week out, but inside of Brother Roy, there's a kernel, hallelujah, a predestinated seed, hallelujah, that always was part of Logos Word. Hallelujah, praise be to God. I like that man. Oh my, because you are part of Logos Word, you are on fire. Amen, you are always worshiping, always praising. Amen. Because the angels, we said last time, the angels doesn't know yeah. what is redemption. No. But you know what it is to be redeemed. Amen. You once were lost. Amen. Amen. We were one of the worst sinners in the city. Yes, sir. We were drunkards. Yeah. We were gamblers. Yeah. We were robbers. Yeah. We were whatever, man. Yeah. On the five years yeah. bill. On the yeah. double. Hallelujah. Yeah. But it does to the yellow as a seal from the under. the sun. Praise God.
You were in the very thoughts of E L L A Elohim. That's where you were. Praise be to God. You're just bypassing that side now. Coming to this world to be tested and tried and fail and make mistakes. But the blood is there as an atonement to make sure that you make it for the rapture. And you shall make it. You have already made it because you are part of Elohim. plan within Elohim's thoughts. That's why Satan is jealous of you this morning. That's why the world is jealous of you this morning. Because he was never in the plan of God. Fallen angels was not part of God's redemption plan. That's why he got jealous because God received all the worship. Hallelujah. So before God created the angels, you were there. You remember what he asked Job? Where was thou? When I lay the phone, you know, you know how deep that scripture is? It's not only just a, 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 a password or a catchphrase. What the minister preaches, you say, where was thou? No, 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 to get you all excited. No, that's a deep scripture. Where was thou? When I lay the foundations of the earth. Where the sons of God shouted for joy. Where the morning stars sang together. You are a star. You are a morning star. When you are a son of God always. When you shouted for joy. Hallelujah. The Job could cry back. I was there. Roy Nandy can cry back. I was there. Jerome Rasmus can cry back. I was there. James Gunner can cry back. I was there. David Dupree can cry back. I was there. Hallelujah. We can cry back because we know where we come from. Jesus knew where he was coming from. That's why he can make a statement, I come from God and I'm going back to God. Hallelujah, we need to realize what we're doing here. Where we're coming from, what we're doing here, where we're going to. Hallelujah. That's why I'm happy this morning. Amen, because I'm going back to Eden. And not only Eden, but I'm going back to my image. Hallelujah, the Genesis 2, 7 man. I'm going back to having supreme control. I'm going back to having dominion. I'm going back to having authority. Spoken word authority. I'm going back to my first estate. I'm going back to my spiritual condition and position. Hallelujah. Going back to the spoken word. Hallelujah. You know, to have prayer lines is fine. But Brother Ram says we should be way up the road now. We should speak the word for our condition. Hallelujah. That's where how far we should be in the sphere and in the mind of God. Hallelujah. And spoken word power is coming back. What well, makes me think of Joshua? That day Joshua needed more sunlight. That was a man in position. And I'm looking at a lot of Joshua's here today. Man and woman in position. Amen. Isn't this the very hour that we could say sun stand still? Moon hang over Edgeron? Sun ho hang over Gibeon? Isn't this the very hour that we as a little portion of the bride of Christ can speak the word for this day and this hour? Speak what you want. God got so cross with Moses when they stood before the Red Sea. Mountains on both sides and Pharaoh's army on the other side coming behind them. Said Moses, why do you keep on crying to me to speak the word and move forward? Oh, little bride here in P, Christian Assembly, speak the word and move forward. If you need money, speak the word and move forward. If you need healing, speak the word and move forward. If you need children saved, speak the word and move forward. If you need a job, speak the word and move forward. If you need deliverance for your husband, speak the word and move forward. Hallelujah. If you've got nothing to eat when you leave this building today, speak the word and move forward. It shall be there. It shall be there. It shall be there. Hallelujah. He's the God of the replenishment. He's the God of the multiplication. Hallelujah. He gives back hundredfold, man. That's the kind of God we serve. We don't serve a dead God, but we serve a loving God. That's why we are fighting day in and day out. Amen. To get back to our original position and our condition. I am not in my position as with the program of God. My position is to have dominion over the beasts of the field and the fowls of the air. 
But Adam forfeited our position by listening to a lie. That's why the curse is still on the human race today. I was laying in my bed or sitting yesterday studying and I was thinking, Oh God, two days time is Monday again and we have to go and work. And I read the scripture in the Bible. God took me back to the Bible when he pronounced the curse. He said, there is sweat on your brow. You shall put food on your table. Woman in sorrow thou shalt bring forth. It is because of the curse. Oh, that just shows me that God is real. That, that scripture could today have still have such an impact on the human race. Shows me that God is and was and will be real forever. So where does this atheist fall out of? That says there's no God. By the sweat of your brow, brow, you shall go and labor. Which means the curse still hangs on this human race. Hallelujah. It shows the reality of the word of God. And the powerful impact it has on the kingdom of man today. Or the human race today. You hear the young people? That's the power of the word. We know the devil has got power once we owned it. But the word of God has got even more power. It's more stronger than the power of the devil. You know that the word of God gets set free. The devil binds. That's right. He gets you so frustrated. Amen. He gets you so mixed up in your mind. And you stay away from church for how many weeks and months and whatever the case might be. Because he's got you bound in your mind. But until you give him a knockout in your mind, your body will never be free. Hallelujah. And you can give him a knockout here. Where is the greatest battle ever fought? Right in the mind. Right in the intellect. Right in the reasoning. That's where he got Eve. Then he said, but God said if we eat of the tree, we're going to die. But he came with one little tiny word and added it into the scripture. That's why Jesus said at the end of the Bible, thou shall not add to anything that was said in the word because he knew what Satan did in the beginning. Hallelujah. He added to the word. And if you add to the word, it's death. Hallelujah. Because God said you shall die. And he comes with all sorts of interpretations and said you shall not die. Praise be to God. And that's what got us all in this mess. That's why we hate. That's why we got no forgiveness. That's why we gossip. That's why we take a big sharp knife. Stuck into the water, a man's back to kill his character. Yeah, we don't care. Yeah, we like brute beasts, yeah, the Bible says. Because this outer man, Brother Branham says, is made like the beast is yeah. made. The only thing that's genuine inside of us yeah. is that eternal spirit yeah. that God spoke into existence. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why the lion will always chase a bullock, he will always chase a buffalo. Yeah. He will always chase a deer because harmony was distorted. Tranquility was distorted because of a lie. But we know what is truth this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus came and introduced the truth. Amen. That's why people like Oprah Winfrey can say there is not only one way to Jesus Christ. What nonsense. He then said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. That's why I don't listen to these American clever guys and whatever they think they are. I'm listening to one common source and that's the word of God. Hallelujah. Quote one F my sister. I fast my time and I'm enjoying myself here. So God created male and female. You see what he done? He made the man and now the first question he created he, them and so forth. Genesis 1 26 to 7 he formed them out of the dust of the earth and breathed into his nostrils. So when he made man, uh, what if he created him male and female? Are you with me? Yeah. You see what he done? He made the man. That's the first question he created. He, them, and so forth. He formed them out of the dust of the earth and breathed into its nostrils. 1G. And the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help mate for him. And out of the ground the Lord formed every beast and so forth. Now, but our brother says, now God made Eve from Adam's side. The woman has one more rib today in the anatomy and the makeup that man does. Because a rib was taken from Adam's body. 
Adam had already been made and was loving and was lonesome. And then God said, it's not good that man should live alone. See how deep that is now? I don't want to go there. My mind is going to second Adam. Amen. Second Eve. Being part of the first, uh, the second Adam around. Amen. We are already inside of him as that Eve. Amen. It's not good for man to be alone. Therefore, he put man in a deep sleep and form an operation. And now you remember he was both male and female in the spirit. But God had now to take out of Adam. He had to uh, uh, put him under an anesthesia. Hallelujah. And take that rib and form out of that rib. I help me. For when Adam woke up, he realized, who is this now? Who is this beautiful creature standing next to me? Oh. Therefore, Adam could now say in the Bible, the Bible said, you are now flesh of my flesh and bone of my bone. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Because he was part of Adam. Amen. Hallelujah. When he died on Calvary. Amen. Oh, let your spiritual thinking caps flow now, church. When he died on yes, brother, and that's right. When he died on Calvary, that Roman shoulder pushed that spear in the side. Out came water, blood, and spirit. And what a Roman soul didn't realize the moment he pierced the side of Jesus, out came you and I. That was part of him before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Amen. One H, my sister. But now God making Eve and Adam and Eve at the same time, the only thing he made was the supernatural. The spirit of Adam and the spiritual Eve. The man and woman put Adam in here. It wasn't good. He said it's God's picture unfolding all the time. Everything like this, it's, it's just coming right down, just unfolding right out. Coming out through the millennium over yonder and right on into eternity. Just God's picture, just unfolding. God unfolding himself. Praise be to God. And that's what God is. He's, a, he's an unfolding God. Now, you couldn't stay with justification all the time. He had to unfold. Amen. What David said a few weeks ago, out of the elect Pentecostals. Out of the Pentecostals, now they chose the elect Pentecostals. So God is unfolding. God is moving. Revelation is progressive. Amen. We cannot just stay constantly on the same foundation all the time. We have got to move forward. Amen. There was a dispensation of the Holy Ghost pouring out. There was a dispensation of justification. There was a dispensation of sanctification. But now when Brother Bram came on the earth, that dispensation changed to the dispensation of adoption. Huh? We didn't realize that we should be adopted, but the Branham can introduce that dispensation of adoption. So it's not only for us to stay as sons and daughters of God, but we shall be fighting, press by press towards the mark of the high calling of God, which are in Christ Jesus. Oh, forgetting those things that are behind me, but pressing forward to reach out to those that think that's before me. What is before me? Perfection is before me. Resurrection is before me. The changing of the body is before me. Adoption is before me. We're gonna gonna stay here down on this earth forever. We must be adopted. Jesus was adopted on Mount Transfiguration. Brother Brandon was adopted on Mount Sunset. Where will the bride be adopted? On Mount Paramount. There is an adoption time coming, church. We must be adopted, hallelujah. It's that same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. If that spirit dwells in you, it will quicken your mortal bodies. It will change you in the atoms. We must be adopted. We must be changed. Change from a moment in a twinkling of an eye. Change from mortal to immortality in a twinkling of an eye. We must be changed. We cannot stay in this condition anymore. This is not our original condition. Hallelujah. We have got to become manifested sons of God. We had the written word. We had the spoken word to Malachi 4. We had the revealed word to the life of Malachi 4. Now we have got to become the manifested word and look out what Malachi 4 has prophesied over this bride. We are the prophet's prophecy. Hallelujah. I appreciate Malachi 4. I appreciate Brother Branham. Oh my, the world is saying a lot of things. A lot of people is leading the message. Saying a lot of negative things against the prophet. And I was always asking myself, what if the prophet was right here today? Would they have the guts to say that to him? They wouldn't have the guts. Because they were afraid of the angel. Remember what happened to the 53 ministers way back? With Brother Branham, they challenged Brother Branham on the baptism in Jesus' name. 
And the angel of the Lord said, don't you go into that room. This is the color of the room. But you go into that room. And Brother Brandon, a week or so before the time spoke that. And the very moment they arrived at that place, he said, we won't be able to go in there because it's occupied already. We have to go into the brown room. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the Brother Brandon stood up. Amen. He says, all right, you ministers, all 53 of you, come stand here next to me and disprove what I have spoken all these years. Amen. The baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ come show me the Bible where it's false. The baptism in the, the, with, with the Holy Ghost and fire come show me where it's false. The divine healing that I'm proclaiming all these years come show me where it's false. And not one of them stood up and challenged Brother Brown. Hallelujah. Not one of them. They didn't have the guts. They were not afraid of Brother Brown. He was a little short and tuck in man. man. But he had something. <laughs> he had the living bread of life behind him. He had the angel of the covenant behind him. And that's the one that could give him the secrets. Who of you and me who challenge the angel of the God of God? What the brother Brandon says, who is greater? The angel in heaven or the angel behind the pulpit? The angel behind the pulpit is greater than the angel of heaven. Because he directly influences the minister and speaks the word that's needed for the condition, for the time, and the season, and for the people of that day. Who is greater? So let them say what they want to say. Let them carry on like they want to carry on. We believe Brother Branham to be the messenger according to Revelation 10, 7. We believe Brother Branham to be that Elijah according to Malachi 4, verse 5 and 6. We believe Brother Branham to have that ministry of the Son of Man according to Luke 17, 30. We believe Brother Branham to be the end time messenger of the 21st century. We believe Brother Branham to be that seventh angel sent out of the presence of God to reveal the seven seals. We believe Brother Branham to be the prophet messenger of the end time to reveal the hidden mysteries as locked up in that seven seals. We believe Brother Branham to be the vindicated prophet as God prophesied the 50 lights of spirit to come upon the face of the earth. We believe Brother Branham to have thus said the Lord and declare the whole counsel of God. We believe Brother Branham has gone up into the pyramid in 1963. Catch the open book. Bring it down to his people. Reveal who God was, who Christ is, who you are, and who we, where are we going to? We believe Brother Branham has been the one sent out of the presence of God for this day and age. Oh my. We believe we believe, we believe, we believe the Father has sent his only Son, Jesus Christ, according to St. John 3.16. We believe the message of the hour, hallelujah, be made the manifest in the season and time. We believe that we have not received reformations, but we have received revelations. Hallelujah, the word being revealed in our season. You know what? You should be the most happiest people on the face of the earth. That's the secret. The devil cannot be happy. The nominal churches cannot be happy. They think they are happy, but they're not happy. But we as the bride should be the most happiest people of the father face of the earth. We shouldn't be morbid. We should stop complaining. My God, we should stop for, find fault with the for, find fault with the pastor. Stop finding fault with the deacon board. Let's stop finding fault with one another. Let's be happy in Christ Jesus. And let's serve him all the days of our lives. Let's make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And when we are happy, God is happy. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. And when you have joy, you smile always. You don't have a six o'clock face. You have a ten to two face. Hallelujah, you smile always. You are happy with everybody. Amen, if you've got no penny in your pocket, you are happy anyhow. Hallelujah, if there's no food in your cupboard, you are happy anyhow. You are not only happy when you got $10,000 or 10000 rand in your bank account. Then you're the happiest person on the face of the earth. But if there's not even one crumb of bread in your bread tin. Oh, hallelujah, I feel good now. He's the Lord God of Elijah. You remember that Shunammite woman? He said, break me a cake first. She had to obey the word of Elijah. She had to break him a cake first. And when she did that, he said, but oh, I, I, I got no oil. I got no flour. But Elijah, oh my, said, break me a cake. And when she went into a kitchen, into a cupboard, she find the last bit of oil, the last bit of meal. Praise God. And as she poured the, 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 the jars out, the oil just keep on multiplying. The praise God, the, the flour keep on multiplying. 
Hallelujah. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. Bake me a cake first. We got too much respect for God to sleep in his church. We in the holies of holies you cannot sleep. Because in the holies of holies is fire. That's why that priest had to have a rope around his ankle. He had to have pomegranates around his garment, skirt at the bottom. So when the, the, the presence of God would, would kill him, they, 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 they attack him and they feel there's no life. They had to pull him out because they couldn't go into the presence. But now today to go into the presence in those days meant death. Only the high priest could go in there now. But we've got liberty in the new covenant, in the new testament to go into the holies of holies. We're all bonus and liberty now. That's why we cannot come as we are or want to. Dress yourself right. Come to church properly. That priest had to dress himself according to the principles laid down in the book of Leviticus. That's how we had to enter. People say, ah, consuelous. Yeah, you still consuelous. But is it clearer? The Nordetle clearer, Tregi clearer. Come on, respect the eyes, but here. Let's respect God and how we enter into His presence. It's not what we say, it's what we do. That will attract the attention of God. This is small little things, church, isn't it? That we sometimes lack, sometimes forget, give you the benefit of the doubt. We, we sometimes forget, yes? Amen. How to approach God. Uh, Abraham preached the message approach to God. There is an approach to God. We cannot come any other way we want to come. And we have to come with an approach, a certain way. But nevertheless, sister Abby, let's go on, my sister. So, did he choose us? Yes, he chose us before the foundation of the earth. You know, when you can't get into the, these deep things of God, you feel so good. I mean, I spent five hours yesterday and I told myself, you're going to finish that message today. And sometimes I don't finish, I just cut off, I think on you. Sitting with all those masks on there, but even in the spirit, the spirit don't make you tired. It mark you big uh, look, isn't it? Yeah. Amen. Forget my many courses with Bruno said, don't think about the food on the plate, on the stove. God will look after that food. Yeah. So when did God choose us? When did God choose your you that's got the Holy Ghost? That's an important question. Amen. When did he choose you before the foundation of the world? Yeah. By his foreknowledge. Yeah. He foresaw you and know that you would love him. And there, before there was the foundation of the world, he chose you and sent Jesus that he might be the propitiation of your sins to call you to reconciliation to himself to love. Let's go on, my sister. Let me, before we go any further, go back. It says, Genesis 1, 26, I'll pick it up Wednesday night. It says, before he made man, he called himself E-L. Here we go. E-L-E-L-L-E-L-H-L-A-L-O-Him. The word means in the Hebrew, the self-existence, all by himself. Nothing existed before him. It was all the existence there was, ever was. Self-existent one, E-L-L-A-L-O-Him. Means this all-sufficient, all-powerful, almighty, self-existent one. Hallelujah. That's who he was, self-existent one. Go on, my sister. But in Genesis 2, when he made man, he said, I am. Yes, sir. Y A H U J U V U H Yahweh Jehovah. What did it mean? I am this all existent one who has created something of, of myself to be a son of mine Amen. or a temporary or an amateur little out one of mine. Glory. Brother Branham said, I think the Holy Spirit got a hold of him there. Why? Jehovah means that he gave man to be an amateur God. Because he is Father God. And he made a man an amateur God. So he isn't, yeah, there we go. So he isn't self-existing anymore. He exists with his family. Elohim. Now he is Jehovah, which means one who exists with his family. Hallelujah. So whatever you feel at the Wednesday nights and when you wash your dishes and when you wash your clothing, you're feeling that tap of E-L-L-A-L-O-Him. Because he is self, he's no more self-existing, he exists with his family. He has become Jehovah, the Almighty. For Isaiah 9, 6, for unto us a child is born, a son is given, and his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, 
What? Number three? Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. He has become Emmanuel. God with us. God above us. God with us in Jesus. Now, God in us by the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Quote 2D. God made man to be predominant over all the earth. He had dominion. And the earth was man's dominion. Is that scripture? Then if that's his domain, he was God over the earth. He could speak and he would be so. He could speak this and it would be so. Oh, there he is. God Jehovah, the one who has once existed in self-existence, but now exists with his family and his little ones with him. There you are. Quote to E. Who is going to be deceived? Who is going to be deceived by this religious person like Saul was? That was just so cunning and so perfect, though, it will deceive the what? The very elected. Amen. Then he quotes Revelation 13 and says, And all that dwell upon the earth, all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him yes. whose names were not written in the book of life of the Lamb, Amen. slain before the foundation of the world. Amen. Quote to F, When was our names put in the Lamb's book of life? When the Lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. When was God Jehovah, E L L Elohim, the self existing one? Just like one great big diamond and he could not do be anything else or nothing else. But inside of this diamond, his attributes Amen. was a savior. Amen. Hallelujah. In this attributes on the inside of him was a healer. Amen. There was nothing to save and nothing to heal, yes. but his attributes produced it. Yes. So then before the foundation of the world, when we when he know that the greatest plain year of him, that he would be a savior, that he would come and make man, make flesh and dwell among us. And he knowed by his stripes we, we'd be healed. He slayed the lamb Amen. on his book Hallelujah. before the foundation of the world. And wrote your name on that book before the foundation of the world. Oh, Isaiah 6, quote 3, my sister. We just won't read it, but he was to be the everlasting father, the mighty God. Amen. When God made man in Genesis 1, 26, it shows, if you're putting Amen. that down, it shows that God made man to be a God to begin with. Man was made to be a God, a lesser God, small g. He was made in the image and likeness of God. He had hands like God. He had feet like God. Eyes, ears, and intelligence like God. His whole fiber because he was a son of God. Jesus referred to him as God. Hallelujah. That's why our precious prophet was such an example of being a lesser God. That they almost wanted to baptize in his name. Let me give you a little secret. Where Brother Branham left, we need to continue. But the Branham left us with the third pool. So we need to continue from there onward. We cannot go back to the first pool. We cannot go back to the second pool. We have got to start with the first pool. Brother Branham's finishing of the third pool is our starting point of the third pool. Are you with me? Hallelujah. So that's where the churches are to find itself. We are happy for justification, sanctification, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. But in our season, our time is a revealing of the word. It is speaking the word for your condition. Because you are in an adoption season. You are in an adoption dispensation. Where you speak that all things are possible. The Messiah, quote number three. Amen. Let's go on. Quote three. Hey, and in Genesis, what do you see? When God made man, he made him a God. Because he gave him a dominion and he had rulership, he had power over the birds of the air, the cattle of, over the winds, the waves, the fishes of the sea, everything. He had dominion over everything. He was a ruler, anointed a ruler because he was the likeness and in the image of God with an earthly domain. That's why the Bible, the earth is groaning, crying, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. The world is waiting for the man to come back into his rightful state. I like that. The world is waiting for the man to come back into his rightful state. Let me encourage the sisters as well. You were always part of the man. You were always in Adam. Which means that when nature is growing from man, it means you also. So you got a role to fulfill, sisters. That is only the masculine side of man, but the feminist part as well. That's got a role to fulfill. That sure as man has got conditions to speak to, you human has also got conditions to speak to. Yeah. You still got the same power, spiritual speaking, because you're part of the man. Yeah. Hallelujah. Man must come back to his rightful estate. Yeah. 
The whole earth is moaning. Nature is groaning for man to come back into his image. Oh but it will one day. It will, yeah. it will brother Dennis. He will come back into that position one day. <laughs> That's why this message was sent. Amen. We never knew all these things. We only thought he's going to church. That's it. Finish. Send a party. Hymns and litera and that's that's all. So he lives in our own year. For seeing this in our own year, I'm going to say, "Listen, live as much as we live." Was that? It's not that. It's not just coming to church and having a good time and go home again. No, it's it's greater than that. Man, the whole earth is moaning. It's nature is groaning for man to come back into his image. But he will one day. That's why this message was sent to bring us out of a state of amnesia to a reality of belonging. We don't belong on this earth. But Kolani, you don't belong on this earth. Kirk, you don't belong on this earth. Desmond, you don't belong on this earth. It's just a passing through. Abraham said, "I'm looking for a city whose builder and maker is God." I'm just a sojourner here. Hallelujah. We're just on the journey. Hallelujah. We were in the mind of God. Amen. We know we don't belong here. This is not our home. We are seeking a city whose builder and maker is God. Who of you are looking for a city? Wie van jullie wil geld maken hier bij aarde? Wie van jullie wil rijk worden? Wie van jullie wil miljonairs worden? Dank je, jij is niemand wat miljonairs wil worden. Halleluja, maar als je doet, gaan we je geld niet in zo. Maar dank je, jij voor die eeuwige leven. Dat mijn ziel kan veranderen worden. En ik kan opstaan die dag van je opstanden. En mijn Christus ontmoet op die volken van die hemel. Dus waar naar ik uitzien. Onze mooie karren, onze groot huise, onze miljoen aan die bank, dit gaat achterblijven. Ons is dankbaar van dit, voor dit, maar wat belangrijk is om hier die aarde, is om te vrees soos hy is. Om die gestalte van Jesus Christus aan te neem en om te veranderen te word in die oomblik, in die oomblikse tijd. Dit is waar ons bereid sien. Sien jy leid daar met dit? Wie wil jy sien uit aan die opstanding? How many of you is looking forward to the resurrection? Brother Roy says the ex brother, whoo man, brother David, your daughter I see her coming, hallelujah, that morning between six and nine, when the trump of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more, when the morning breaks eternal bright and fair, I see the resurrection, the power of God coming down upon the earth, and those that are dead in Christ shall be raised up, hallelujah, and that same body will come down at the offering and lift them up and change into a glorious, glorified body. Hallelujah! Resurrection power will strike this earth and we which are alive and remain and is not dead shall be caught up together with them that are alive and together we shall meet the Lord in the air. What a day it is to look out for. I'm going to see my brother-in-law Roger. I'm going to see my brother Gideon. I'm going to see my mama Auntie Sina. I'm going to see my grandfather. I'm going to see all my friends that has gone on. Brother Roy, hou vast my broer. Allemaal jylle wat geliefd is verloor het, moet nie opgeen nie. Daar gaan een opstanding wees. Daar gaan een herremoeting wees. Halleluja, wat ons nou doen is nie in wei nie. Die Heere wat ons dien, hy is so wonderbaar. Hy haal ons uit die dode en hy sit ons aan die lewe. Hy gaan ons kom verander. Hy gaan ons een lichaam kom verander. Hy gaan ons een levens kom verander. Daar gaan een opstanding wees. Dis hoe ek voel vanmorgen. Halleluja, we just got to be a resurrection. We are on a journey that started in the mind of God. They left the natural land, each of our natural land, the wilderness. But one day, Joshua, one day, Joshua commanded the children of Israel to get ready for in three days. They will pack up and move a spiritual atmosphere, the promised land, a land flowing with divine promises. Hallelujah, a land that's ready for them to inherit. Joshua had to be strong and courageous because he had to lead the people out of a land. Amen. Hallelujah, which they never knew before. Amen. In other words, take God at his word. Amen. Brother Branham left us promises of a land that we don't know Amen. how it looks. Amen. He was old, uh, beyond the curtain of time, Amen. but he's left us a message Amen. to prepare us to go into a spiritual land which we have not seen. We have only heard about the land through the voice of the prophet messenger. 
But bride, can I call you bride? Yes, I can call you bride. Be thou strong and very courageous. Because at the finishing of the seventh seal, Brother David, the mercy of God should be finished. To know who God is, what he is, how he lives, his nature, his being. Because he has sent us a message that will tie in that man that's going to be redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And is going to be in that church age, that eternal church age at the end of the seals. It will be worth it all. You will have a short, quick time to exercise your authority. Sister Erasmus, thy be my sister. If I say in your word, you will have a short, quick time to exercise that authority. You that's weak and weary, known of strength, you're going to be changing your atoms. You will have a short, quick time to exercise your control. You will have a short, quick time to exercise your dominion. You will have a short, quick time. To feel how it is to be manifested sons of God. You have a short, quick time to experience power. Spoken with power. 30 to 40 days. Then the trumpet would sound. But you will feel that control again. Hallelujah. That's what we need in these last days. You will feel that dominion again. We felt it yet unconscious in Adam. When he spoke, said, three, uproot yourself, be there. Rabbi, I don't want you there, go there. You felt it. Yet unconscious in Adam when he spoke that as being the amateur miniature God on the earth. But now you are here. Adam is not here. You have become that you are already part of Adam. Now that control Adam lost, you will have now. That dominion Adam lost, you will have. That authority Adam lost, you will have. And you will exercise it for a short space of time. Maybe 30 to 40 days. I don't know. Yeah. Resurrection time. Yes, speak it and it shall be so. Yeah. You that's got friends and loved ones and family members that doesn't know the Lord, speak it over them yeah. and it shall be so. Yeah. Hallelujah. God. I want to challenge the Peter to sing that song, but he didn't practice. So himself in flesh. Even before creation, his purpose yeah. was redemption. God always saw himself in flesh. Even before creation, the Lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. So as Elohim, he thought it all. Melchizedek created the world. But in Jesus, he expressed his love to us. Amen. So as Elohim, he thought it all. Melchizedek created the world. Elohim. But in Jesus, he expressed his love to us. We are in a journey that started in the mind of God. And will end in a glorified body. He condescended. Now we can ascend. We are on a journey that started in the mind of God. And will end in a glorified body. The bride was the mystery hidden God. Amen. Even before creation was to be expressed in another body. The bride was the mystery hidden God. Even before creation to be expressed in another body for redemption. And now the bride herself takes the word itself and reveals herself in itself. Quickened in the spirit that's been written about her. And yes, the bride takes the word itself and reveals herself in itself. We are in a journey. Oh my, I'm going to finish now. The earth is longing for a state of harmony. The earth is longing for a state of innocence again. The earth is longing for a God man to be in control again. The earth is tired of pestilence. The earth is tired of famine. The earth is tired of war and rumors of war. The earth is tired of pollution. The earth is tired of man disrupting its harmony for commercialization and capital quick schemes and the hand of abusing its natural resources. The earth is tired. The earth wants sons your back. The earth wants God your back. The earth wants dominion back. The earth wants supreme control back. The earth wants back the harmony which God and man had, even for a short space of time. The earth longs for tranquility. The earth longs for balance. Nature wants balance. The lion won't be able to hunt the buffalo for food anymore. The lion won't be feared anymore. That growl of the lion won't fear us anymore. Because we will be in our position, in our condition as men and daughters, sons and daughters of God again. That's what this earth is longing for. For the manifestation of God and sons and daughters of God again. God had so much confidence in the Genesis 2, 7 man before the fall. That God allowed that man to name every beast under the heavens what he wanted. And when Adam named, God got 
confirmed with the direct echo out of heaven. God did not cross question Adam, but God vindicated his son's choice of name. If Adam chose monkey, it was so. If Adam chose elephant, it was so. Adam chose hallelujah lion, it was so. Adam chose eagle, it was so. Adam chose crow, it was so. If Adam chose ant, it was so. Why father and son was in harmony. And son and dominion was in harmony. Son was in complete control over his dominion. Had supreme authority. He was miniature God. And that is what nature is longing for. That dominion. That control. That authority. That genesis again. Nature is tired of hybrid. Nature wants original. And the spoken word is the original seed. Nature wants the original seed. Nature wants to be spoken to directly. Sin wrote man of speaking directly to nature. But oh, God made a way of escape. God foresaw this day. The day that man will have to step back into his position again. Therefore, God made a way through a message through seven church ages. And he represented it off and kept it off with the evening light message. Remember, Luther and his group over there. If they are not there, then the balance of the word is disturbed. The Pentecostals, not denomination now, they, they must be there. The real Pentecostals must be there. If they are not there, then the balance of the word is disturbed. But this message of us, tied up all the loose ends, which Paul left, which Irene has left, Martin Luther, Columbus, Wesley left, the Pentecostals left. But then present to us the person of Jesus Christ. But not only Jesus Christ, but now Jesus is bringing a little lady with him that have been born of the word, Miss Jesus Christ. And her name is B-R-I-D-E, Bride. Back to fullness, back to the word, back to power, back to Christ, back to the original foundation, back to the message, the message of preparation, back to our image, back to supreme control, back to our dominion, back to spoken word power, back to authority, back to sonship, back to Godship. God bless you. I got so much more to say, but come, let's stand to our feet this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. We only quote four out of a possible. Amen. Six quotes. Amen. We should have finished, but nevertheless. You love him? Amen. You appreciate him? Yes, amen. Amen. Come on, musicians. Let us make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. So that's where we stand this morning, church. Back to the image. You believe we're going back to the image? Amen. You don't sound convincing. You believe we're all going back to the image? Amen. That is 80%. You believe we're all going back to the image? Amen. That's 85%. You believe we're all going back to the image? That's 93%. You all believe we're going back to the image? That's 97%. You all believe we're going back to the image? That's 100%. We are going back to the image. What we lost in Eden, we're going to go back to that again. Listen, this is not stories I'm telling you. It's not far-fetched. It's not myths. Amen, but it's reality. It's going to happen because you're in a season and a dispensation of adoption. You love him? Just elbow somebody next to you. Say, God bless you. I love you. I appreciate you. Amen. As we hand over to Brother David. Pray that God will give be the after speaker of this little broken up message. I believe something will be said this morning that will really put our flickering lights here on top. Amen. Put it on up with a switch on the light. That we know in which season and time and hour we are. That we have got to get out of this world. Amen. We have got to go home. Our longing is home. Rotwijnen 
nog wel aan die godsmannen, wat voor ons uitgegaan het om al die dubbelkies, soos die broer van die kaap wat in sy naam sê, het al die, al die dubbelkies van ons plat getrap, Theo Adams, hoe ons van achterna kom, hoef nie oor dubbelkies te loop nie, maar die dubbelkies, the thorns has been trampled flat, so our Christian walk, and no it's tough, but should be a little bit better, a little bit easy on the feet, we don't have to fight so many demons like they fought the demons in their day. So we appreciate all these men of God. David was very my broer. All the old heart that for us, the sake of it. On here, you have a really pot for us, makkelijk to make. That our burden is so swaar moet wees. That our kinders is swaar the year moet do. I know it is a strait to do. But that the burden is so swaar for soos wat hierdie manne van God het gevoel het heet. Ons saloot hulle vandag. Al hierdie groot Godse manne wat voor ons uitgegaan het. Baie maal moet ons dink aan hulle. Hulle die eer gee wat hulle toekom. Want hulle het gestaan vir die naam en saak van Jesus Christus. En vir hierdie enteen verdiening wat geïntroduus was in ons dier ons een geloofde profit. Roe Brennan. Amen. Kom ons in een lieflijke koorkie. Sê ja, wat ek sê ja, ga behamba jou tiena. Ek is moe, maar ek voel een bykie net in my lichaam in orde te kry. Kom ons klap ons hande. Kom ons hier eens.
God. Father, we thank you this afternoon. But all sincerity in our hearts, God. Say thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your kindness and your goodness. Lord, we say thank you for where you brought us from. To look back, Lord, down memory lane and to all the years that you have been faithful with us, Lord. To this hour, we can truly say it was the hand of God, the amazing grace of God. We want to sincerely pray, God, that you will bless this little message, Lord, to the people's hearts. Let us make man in our image back to the original image, Father. May you be the after speaker of this word, God. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the strength to deliver it, Lord God. May you anoint me afresh, Lord God. The virgin that left, Father. The perspiration, God, may you just multiply it back, Father God. Give me a good rest, Father. Thank you for those that could hear the word. Father, now they've heard it, Lord God. But it cannot only stay there, Lord. They need to pull it from having a faith of hearing, Lord, but now pulling it back down into a faith of the heart. And Lord, go out and live what they've heard, Lord God. Then there's got to be manifested sons of God. Nature is tired, Lord. The earth is groaning, it's waiting for sons and daughters of God, manifested sons and daughters of God, to come back into their positions again. We don't have Adam anymore, Lord God. He failed us, Lord. But we're so glad for a second Adam that created this opportunity for us, Lord, and raised up an anti-prophet to tell us that we are in the season of adoption, and even in this season of adoption, we can speak as the Spirit gives utterance. Thank you, Lord God. Bless every brother, every sister. Lord, the governments, the help to lay it in the ministry, Lord God. We love you, we appreciate you, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Oh, we, we. Let's be over to Brother David.